What I'd like to do today is show other school administrators how to create a Google form that not only collects data from all their walkthrough observations so that you can see general trends that are going on in your school or in teachers classrooms but also provides immediate feedback to teachers uh, once you do that observation. Um, there's a lot of schools out there that are using Google Forms for walkthrough observations but the, the beauty of this form is that it actually emails teachers immediately uh, the feedback that you, that you saw. So what you want to do is go to leadministration.com once again leadministration.com and this blog post was put up on February 18th and scroll down until you find the form right here so click there and it'll take you to the form and this is a template that I created uh, you're gonna want to go to file and make a copy of this and rename it maybe your school name walkthrough template alright so this is what it looks like and I'll show you what the actual form looks like so as you walk through a classroom and I use an iPad it's a great tool and this is a great form for that so you can walk in with just an iPad or laptop and select a teacher the general information about the class and then start filling in information that you see uh, and if you want to change these questions you're more than welcome to do that um, and like I said the great thing is all these questions that you answer will go straight to the teacher as soon as you post it so to make it usable for your school what you're going to want to do is edit the form and you will need to put all the teacher names and you have to use their email addresses so that it can email them I have about 26 teachers at my school and so every single teacher was able to uh, be put into my form so I know it can hold a lot I actually don't know what the limit is so you would choose you know you would put all your teacher names here and then just go through and select Once you've done that, and, maybe, and change any other questions that you'd like to, you need to go back to the form and go to Tools, Script, Editor, click on Triggers, All Triggers, and you need to add a new trigger, and this is just what sets it off so that it emails uh, the responses to the teacher. So it doesn't automatically do that unless you tell it to. So I'm going to do a time driven, time driven, and I would like it to send a response every minute. So if I've made an update, it'll check every single minute and then email a response to the teacher. And make sure you save that. You have to accept or authorize this script and once that's done you should be good to go um, but if you want to change questions go back to form edit the form uh, like we saw before and, and change the questions to yourself if you do change the form what you'll need to do is change what the email looks like so this is what the template looks like for the email um, the sender name this is where the address it comes from and you can change this to whatever you like um, and the teacher that's going to go to uh, if you remember I have email addresses for my teacher questions so every when I select the teacher I select the email address and anything inside these hashtags um, will self populate based on the answer that I chose on the Google form so whatever teacher I choose, whatever email address I choose, will automatically fill in here, and that's who it'll go to. Um, and just like all these questions, so the teacher will read the period, and then this here will automatically populate with uh, whatever period I select. 
And so the important thing you must remember, if you change a question or add questions, you need to change this, this template. So if I were to add um, you know, the time the observation was done, what I'll need to do is go up here and select whatever question. Um, and so I'm going to choose timestamp and insert placeholder. And so what will happen is the email will say time observation was done and it will automatically populate with um, the time that it was done based on that Google form. So I'm going to save and close that. And give you a quick example. So select teacher, the grade taught period. Let's say that half the class was not paying attention, half was. I wasn't engaged, the teacher was not engaged, they were on their cell phone talking. Students were working independently. Nobody was using technology. I asked the student what was going on, he had no idea. They were working on a worksheet. There was no differentiation. Um, And the classroom was clean, things being proved. Um, can you please engage the students. And then comments from ministry. This is something I did not email to the teacher, but this is something that will go into that Google spreadsheet. So um, it'll be it's more of a note for me than it is for the teacher. Um, and then I will submit that. And so the cool thing here is if I go to my spreadsheet, every observation that I do this year will automatically get filled into the spreadsheet. Um, and I can sort it by the teacher so I can get, look at all of one specific teacher. I can sort it by grade level and see you know, which grade levels are using the most technology or which courses are using the most technology. Um, just, it gives me a great overview of what's happening in the school um, at any given time. And so obviously the more observations done, the better uh, feeling you'll get. Yep. All right, so every minute it says email sent. And so if I go to my email, because I chose myself, this is what the teacher will get. So it'll see you know, the... And so once again, it automatically populates um, based on those placeholders. We added this question, the top observation was done at, and it fills in uh, with that information. So immediate feedback for the teacher, a spreadsheet with all of your observation notes, um, just a quick way to get an overview of what's going on in the school. Um, but really, I think this is going to be a great tool, and hopefully it helps you out. And remember to check out Lead Administration dot wordpress dot com